Hello, and welcome to another edition of Orthopedic Sports Medicine Patient Educational Series with Dr. Adam Draghi. This video is going to review the specific surgical procedure required to perform a meniscal root repair. For this demonstration, we're going to look at the right knee. As we zoom in on the right knee, we will see the femur up top, the tibia down below with the meniscus sandwiched between the two. The meniscus is both a shock absorption as well as providing stability to the joint. In this animation, we have now removed the upper femur and we are looking at a posterior root tear of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. So the meniscus is a C-shaped cartilage that goes around the outer portion of the joint really on both sides. This is the outside part of your knee. This is the inside part of your knee. The outside meniscus is called the lateral meniscus. The inside meniscus is called the medial meniscus. And as you can see, it kind of deepens the socket and it gives you extra cushioning or shock absorption when you are playing sports uh, or working. In this case, the patient has torn the root of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus, which means that based on this tear configuration, the meniscus is no longer anchored to the floor in this location. As a result of that, as your body places weight on the meniscus, it will simply push the meniscus out away from the center of the knee and out from between the two bones. If the meniscus is no longer between the two bones, then it is no longer providing any sort of shock absorption with long-term consequences of the rapid development of osteoarthritis on that side of the knee. Because of that, we recommend fixing posterior root tears in order to reestablish the attachment of the meniscus to the floor in this location. That way, once you go to place weight on it, it will no longer be pushed out away from the two bones and it will again provide the shock absorption necessary to the joint. In order to perform a meniscal root repair, we initially gain access to the joint through a small poke hole in the skin where this rubber cannula is inserted. As we look towards the back of the meniscus, we can see this is where the meniscal root tear is. And so we want to reattach this torn piece of the meniscus back down to the floor. We will do that by placing two stitches into the end of the torn meniscus. We will then drill a small hole up through the bone from the front of the tibia. The hole will be used to pass a suture shuttling device up through the bone that will then be used to pass these sutures then down and through the drill hole. This allows us then to attach the sutures down in the front of the bone with a screw. And as the sutures are pulled down and placed into the screw, they are essentially suturing the meniscus root back down to the floor of the joint in the back. This completes the repair of the posterior root of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. After reattaching the meniscus back down to the floor, it is now re-anchored and able to withstand compression forces across the joint without being pushed out away from between the two bones. I hope this video has helped you to better understand exactly how we reattach the posterior root of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. I would like to thank Arthrax for providing the implants necessary to perform an arthroscopic posterior root repair. I would also like to thank Arthrax for providing the surgical animation necessary to create this surgical video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Have a great day.